Jonah's crew and thankful Thursdays. Claire here to see you. This week all you need is an instrument. Uh, there's nothing needed, no socks or anything for prayers this week. We are just going to use our bodies and our voices and sing some action prayers. That's later. First of all, a name call out to all of you. Hello William and Alex. Hello Nancy and Timothy. Hello Laurie and Albie. Hi there Jamie and Daniel. Hello Kezia and Oren. Hello Josiah. Hi Mary and Jemima. Hello Jacob. Hello Finley. Hello baby Benjamin. Hello you. It is so lovely to see you all. I thought we'd start with one we haven't sung in a little while. He's got the whole world in his hands. Three, four. Here we go with James. He's got the whole world in his hands. Not James, God. Here we go. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby in his hands. He's got the tiny little baby. In shout with me. One, two, three. Hello God! God, hello! Thank you that we can read the stories all about David and how he becomes a king. Amen. Right, before our story time I think we'll get our instruments out and make a noise. Instruments! At the ready, have you got yours? Let's make a noise. What noise shall we make to say that God is great? What noise shall we make unto the Lord? Let's make a loud noise to say that God is great. Let's make a loud noise unto the Lord. Here is my loud voice. Quiet noise unto the Lord. Here is my quiet noise. Shh. Well done. Here is my quiet noise. Well done. Here is my quiet noise unto the Lord. What noise shall we make to say that God is great? What noise shall we make unto the Lord? Let's make a slow noise to say. God, God is great. Let's make a slow noise unto the Lord. Here is 
my slow noise. Ooh. Here is my slow noise. Ooh. That was a real one. Here is my slow noise. joyful noise. So it's story time. Now who can remember what happened to David last week? Can you remember? His best friend found out that the king, the nasty king, wanted David dead. And so his best friend signalled, do you remember with the arrows, the sock arrows, he signalled that David had to run away. So he had to say goodbye to Jonathan, his best friend, and he had to run away. It's not very good, is it? So next we read in the Bible that David ran away to the mountains and he hid in caves and he made some friends. He just have a little sort of gang of friends and there was all sorts of things went on. It became a game of hide and seek between King Saul, where's that David, I don't like him, and David hiding in caves. But God was really good and kept David safe. The king, however, and Jonathan, his son, had to fight many battles. And in one of those battles, both the king and Jonathan, David's best friend, were killed. And one of the people from the battlefield came running back with the crown to David and said, David, King Saul is dead. This crown is yours. You should now be king, as Samuel had said. Way back Samuel said that, didn't he? <gasps> wow. So David, this crown does not really fit our David, does it? David became king. King David. Do you know what? I think we need a more grown-up teddy bear for King David. So here is David, grown-up as king. Ooh, does it fit? It's not easy with ears. So David, can we remember everything that had happened to David? <gasps> so when he was very small, the youngest of seven brothers, Samuel said, you're going to be king one day. It didn't look like it, did it? Then we had all that business with playing beautiful music for King Saul, where we met Jonathan, who became a good friend. Then we had going to the battlefield to see his brothers in the battle and stepping up and fighting Goliath with a stone and winning the day. Do you remember that? Huh? And then David and Jonathan had become really good friends and he'd learnt lots of skills together. But sadly, because the old King Saul was jealous, he'd had to run away. But God had kept him safe in all those caves. And then finally, the prophecy that he would be king had come true. We had King David, and he was a mighty king. And he went into lots of battles with, his, with God's people, and God helped him win them all. And in the Bible, we read a really lovely description that David gives all about God. 
and he describes what God is like and that's what we're going to use for our prayers today. So let me just put David down. Oh. So this is what David said about God. First of all, you can do the actions with me, he said God is a rock, a rock that's a hard solid thing and a fortress. A fortress is like a castle or a tower. So can you do that with me? God is a rock and a fortress. So that means God is strong and he's a safe place to be. Then he said, God is like a deliverer and a rescuer. Mm. A deliverer and a rescuer. Oh, it's not like a pizza delivery man, is he? Or a postman. I think what he means is God takes you and puts you in a safe place. He delivers you to safe places or he delivers you to freedom. He'd done that a lot for David. He'd often rescued David and lifted him out of danger. So, can you remember? God is a rock and a strong tower. God is a deliverer and a rescuer. He lifts us to safe places. David described God as being his strength. Can you do that? Big strong muscles. He's my strength and he's my shield. Okay, shield protects you. So he's my strength and he's my shield. Can you remember? David said, God is my rock and God is my fortress. God is my deliverer. God rescues me. God is my strength. And God is my shield. Wow, already some amazing things that David knew God was. And now we know God's that too. Then he said, this is good, God rescues me from deep water. Oh, have you ever been swimming and, and thought, gosh, I'm in deep water. Oh, God rescues you from deep water. He said, God helps me run, stops me from falling over. That'd be good, wouldn't it? So God rescues me, pulls me out of deep water. God helps me run. He said, God is a light in the darkness who helps me see the way. That'd be good, wouldn't it? That's kind of like a torch. God is a torch. God is a light in the darkness who helps me see the way. And then the other thing he said, which is lovely, God is gentle. And God is merciful. Okay, I'm brushing my hands for merciful because it's like being forgiven. If God shows you mercy, he's kind, he's gentle, he forgives you. Wow. So David had had some tough times getting to be King David, but he'd known God. Do you remember right at the beginning? God said he wasn't interested in the outside, was he? He wanted to saw in David's heart. David loved God. And that was what was important to God. And here, now he's king, we see this beautiful song that he writes, telling us what God is like, and it's so true. So we're gonna make those things, some of those things, not all of them, because there's a lot, into a little song of thank you for our prayers. Okay, so it's the song we know that goes like this. Thank you, God, for this fine day. Thank you, God, for this fine day. Thank you, God, for this fine day. Right where we are. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where you are. That's the song. We're going to put in it some of these pictures of God. Are we ready? Thank you, Lord, that you're our rock. Thank you, Lord, that you're our rock. Thank you, Lord, that you're our rock. Right where we are, we're safe. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where you are. Thank you, Lord, you give us strength. Thank you, Lord, you give us strength. Thank you, Lord, you give me strength right where I am. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord right where you are. 
Thank you, Lord, you rescue us. Thank you, Lord, you rescue us. Thank you, Lord, you rescue us right where we are. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord right where you are. Thank you, Lord, you love us lots. Thank you, Lord, you love us lots. Thank you, Lord, you love us lots. Right where we are. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Right where you are. And that's what David did all of his life. He praised God wherever he was. He praised him if he was hiding in a cave. He praised him if he was having to say goodbye to his best friend. He praised him in hard times and he praised him in good times when he'd won the battle, when Goliath had been defeated. He praised him then too. And we can do the same. Do you remember who God is? He's a rock. He's a fortress, he's a deliverer and a rescuer. He's a strength and a shield. He can rescue us from deep water. He can help us run. He can be a light in the darkness. He can show us the way. He can be gentle and merciful. Wow, what an amazing God we have. Right, it's time to sing a new song all about telling everyone about Jesus and his love for us, everybody, everywhere. And for this song, we have to stand up because it's got actions that need to stand up and go right down. Are you ready? Right, find your space. This is a all body song to get our wiggles out. Are we ready? Go James. Everybody. Everybody, everywhere, that's you. The top of my head, way, way down to my toes. I can't keep it all inside. I want to jump with all my might. From the top of my head, way, way down to my toes. I can't keep it all inside. I want to dance with all my might. Right, that's got rid of the wiggles. 
I thought, as well as that one, bonus song, we had to sing, be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you, because that was also very true for David in all of his battles until he got to be king. So, let me find it. Walking in faith and victory. Come on, walk in faith and victory. For the Lord, your God is with you. Oh, yes. And let's sing it again. again. love for you again wide as the world deep as the sea high as the sky is Jesus love for you and for me give yourself a hug so that's all for this week folks see you soon bye